of the K1 Max or the K1 series in general keep having these ringing keep having problems with uh, first layer adhesion and stuff like that and if you just look at here it, it doesn't really stick well right so I think I kind of know what caused it so because can you hear that can, listen like right here at that that corner and the back corner you keep hearing these like brr, brr, like that right it keeps vibrating so badly <laughs> it keeps vibrating right and as you can see there it has the ringing effect even back there it has the ringing effect okay so i was trying to test the first layer and see why all these stuff keeps happening and I kind of figure out why I, I think it's just the motor back there that it's not that good right because they keep making that weird noises now it's not making it because I um, slowed down the Excel to diesel and it's kind of printing okay now so I was so mad to be honest I was so angry why does the first there not stick at all and so as you can see in the middle there I try doing the Z offset because if you try to adjust this right from fluid you will definitely be confused because when you click the up arrow the bed moves down when you click the down arrow the bed moves up so that's what it is so it's really confusing you assume that this means the bed moves up the bed moves down but no it's the complete opposite which is not good but quite annoying and yeah like this the speed uh, I was testing it to see if it was speed that was making the printer not stick to the first layer so I boosted it up to 100% and I think the maximum it's only 300% so I was just testing it you can see it's actually printing really nicely so I'll explain exactly how this thing happened like this um, so in the middle printed normally and then what you see right here it's it's kind of lifting right here because I play with the Z offset trying exactly to know which arrow means what and then here I just print normally I just keep speeding up the printers by 100% 200% and go down to 50% and stuff like that and it prints all of them really nicely unless you uh, change the Excel to D cell and it will move super fast and this is what's happening right here that blink part is the excel i pump it up to a thousand and it moves so fast and that is why this is happening but now as you can see i put it back to almost normal it's printing nicely now the layer here is printing very nicely now and you don't hear the motor vibrates when it goes back there or back there at the corner and we can also see that it has less ringing than the inside line even with the back let's see yeah even with the back you can definitely see it right you can totally see that the back there don't have ringing on the outside it only has ringing on the inside because the motor was um doing that thing and now over here you can start hearing it listen closely yeah like broom like the motor is having trouble or something and that start to get the um, layer line stuff like that so how would we fix that how would we how would you fix the that sound how would you fix that sound I feel like the motor is having trouble and then it keeps getting these where um ghosting with it yeah i'm gonna be testing what smooth time is because i don't know what that is so 0.04 i'm just gonna put to a one second oh it doesn't like that okay Okay, let's put it there. Let's put it down. And let's see what happened. Um, this this corner is kind of bad to be honest. This one is perfect, but this one is kind of bad. I don't know. I don't know why. How that happened? Look at this move timing. I don't know what that is. Let's put it to zero. Let's see if anything else changes. Okay, took the top off. Just make it so much easier. Um, doesn't seem much is changing. Oh, oh, and by the way, can anybody tell me why? It keeps having these, right? If you look right, if you look right there, if 
you look right here, you can see that that part is starting to lift. But the rest is pretty good. I don't know why that keeps happening. At some area like this, it starts to lift. And some other area, it just sticks super well. How does that even work? Like this part right here. It's starting to lift. And then, as soon as it gets over this part, it's starting pretty really nicely. Like, how is that possible? Is it because this part is like, what? Dented? Or something? Okay, this side actually starts printing really nicely now. And this side is still really, really good. This side is still good. This side is still also good. And we hear less and less of that vibrating sound. I think it's coming from this mode over here. Yeah, it's kind of it's coming from this mode over here. That's why you keep seeing these um, ringing or vibrations and stuff like that. Let me slow down this a bit. This back to normal. Let's try 50 with this. It's gonna slow down significantly. Yeah, it still has vibration over here. Okay, there you go. It slowed down. Here, less of the vibration now. If you listen closely, we can't really hear the vibration anymore. Still a little bit, still a little bit. But I will let that print for a couple of minutes and see what happened. Okay, let me just, you know, change score corner. What is this? Can I put it to 10? Okay, I put it to 10. Let's see what happened. That started to lift. I can hear the printer sounds different now. Okay, I don't know how that happened. But it still prints really nicely though. Yeah, why are some parts like this, right? Like, how is that possible? Why are some parts like that? It's like, so close to each other. Is Like I said, is that part dented or what? Okay. Yeah, yes, and see, see, see that, see that? It fixes it, it fixes it. It fixes it, look at that. There's no more ring on the outside here. The ring is stuck right there because I slowed down the printer and the motor doesn't vibrate anymore and it works is it because the belt is too loose or something okay let me uh, reduce this velocity what is this let me do 400 and see what happened it's gonna take a while until something happens okay nothing really happened okay oh and people oh yeah and my chain I don't know why my chain is sagging so much these days I feel like my chain starts sagging after I print it with ASA and heat the bed all the way to 90C with enclosure, this thing starts to sag. I think it, got, it gets way too hot and then this thing starts to get loosened and then it just sags. Okay, nothing is happening. Let's see, let's put this at 100 and let's put that 1 and let's see what happens. Okay, I can definitely hear a different sound now. It's making different sounds. But it still prints really nice. It still prints really good on every corner. There's no more of these because there's no more vibration. The part starts to live. Why? How? How? How is that possible? Somebody tell me. And for some reason, if you see this, this is wider. This part is way more blue. How is that possible either way? Is it because it's moving this way and then this way so it makes a different color? <laughs> uh, 3D printing is so cool but at the same time it's so weird. This part is so much more wider than this part. This part is so much more blue. It's like printing with two filament. Let me change this back to 150. And let's see if that has any effect. It's gonna move a lot faster. Let's see if these ring starts to appear again. Okay, it's gonna go like right now. Maybe not. Okay, it's moving a lot faster now. You can kinda hear over here and then it starts to have these weird thing. Let's increase this to uh, 300 and see what happens. Gonna go now? Huh. I think the reason for this is because Velocity is down. Let me put it to 200. See if 
Let's see if this moves. Oh, there we go. It moves faster now. So that matters. The, the velocity matters with the excel to decel. Yeah. At this point, I don't hear the motor vibrating over here now, which is really weird. Oh, and look at this corner. It starts to um, round out. Yeah, I think it's because square here. So let's reset this to five and see if that fixes it. As you can see here, this corner, I think it's not stopping for it. But this one's still fine. This back corner is still fine, still fine. It's only this one. For whatever reason, it's only this one. Okay, it's now, um, this one's starting to lift. Because it's printing way too fast. Okay, let me reset this back to normal or 800 and see what happens. Okay, it goes super fast now. <laughs> okay, I think this was default like 250 or something. Oh, it, it moves in faster now. <laughs> okay. That's way too fast, so maybe it was 150. Yeah, it's starting to get really, really bad now. Okay, it's slowed down. Let's see if this is printing well now. It's slowing down. Okay, for some reason, this layer right here is not sticking at all. Okay, why? Why? Put this at 100, and let's put this back at 200. Wow, it's so bad on the corner. On the outside, it's so bad. It's not even sticking at this part. I'm gonna push it up. Let's see what happened. Hey, look at that. We got a line. <laughs> uh. Yeah. I don't know why this. Whatever. I keep screwing everything up. So. Okay, now. Now it's starting to print really nicely. Why? Why? How? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. At two millimeters in, it print bad. Two millimeters out, it prints really nice. But it keeps skipping line right there. Let's um, let's increase the flow to one hundred ten percent and see. See if it flows. It's too fast, so I, we we can't really see it. But we just gotta trust it. I think it's like one or two more layers and then it's gonna be done. Yeah, this corner is still pretty really nicely. I think this might be the last one. Okay, there we go. Yay, finish! Wow. Maybe I need to grease these two motor or something. How would I do that? Do I just put grease here and just hope that it works? Or take it off and then grease it or something? Okay, turn off the fan. <laughs> Okay, so I'll tell you exactly what I did. I already told you, but I'll say it again. For this middle part right here, I print it with nothing. And then when it gets to this part right here, I try moving the bed downward or upward on the arrow. And it moves down. So it starts doing that. I reset it to zero. And then right here, you can see that it's um, really close to the bed because I move it. I move the bed up. And then I found the perfect the offset for this ear right here and that's what I use for the rest of it but for these like these right here right it it kind of looks like the belt and you can definitely hear when it comes here it's like something like that this part right here then then it prints normal it gets here it's like something like that and then it just keep getting these it's like getting stuck or something so it's like around this area. It's moving very smoothly. Yeah, nothing happened. But it keeps like, you know, it keeps making that stupid vibration noise. Yeah, and then after I reset the motor here, it prints out here. It did less of the um, vibration noise and then it prints nicely and then start having vibration noise again. And this pet back part here prints nice. This part here prints kind of bad because the bed here is way up. The bed over here is way down. 
I don't know how to fix it. But it prints nicely. So why can't this Kill Max print anything, right? When I do this test, it prints good. But when I do a real test, or when I do a real print, it doesn't print good. Ugh. And right here, what happened was I put the Excel to Digital at 20,000. It's like, <laughs> and so this happened. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna. Oh, it's so hot. I'm gonna try and grease this motor and grease everything, make it move smoother. But yeah, that's it with this video. It was an unintentional video, to be honest, because I could not get it to stick for whatever reason. So I did, re so I redid the level, the bed level, and then I did this thing, and I decided to film it because it might be interesting for some of you on the, not for this, but it's definitely interesting to me. I learned so much. Excel to decel makes it move faster and velocity make it move faster score corner velocity I think that's um, timing where it prints slower on the corner so that you get a better corner but yeah well I think that's it with this video on intentional video but um, I'll be doing more more tests like this for the Kimo Max if the Kimo Max keeps acting up and the 3v3 prints so nicely, even though this was not its build plate. But anyway, that's it with this video of me messing around with the kill maps and testing the first layer again. Trying to figure out why it's not sticking. Trying to figure out why we keep having these ringing. Apparently it's the motor keeps grinding. It can't rotate or it can't move the belt smoothly. So that's why. We keep getting these ringing on some of the prints and on the first layer. So now we know. And yeah, that will be it for this video. As always, keep on doing your printing. I would like to give a huge thanks to my first paid Patreon member.